sent his son. They called him Jesus. He came to love, heal, and forgive. He lived and died to buy my pardon. An empty grave is there to prove my Savior lives because he I can face tomorrow because he lives. All fear is gone because I know who holds a future and life is worth the living just because he lives. How sweet to hold a newborn baby and feel the pride and joy he gives. But greater still, the calm assurance this child can face in certain days because he lives. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know who holds a future. And life is worth the living just because he lives. And then one day I'll cross that river, I'll fight life's final war with pain. And then as death gives way to victory, I'll see the lights of glory and I'll know he reigns because he I can face tomorrow because he lives. All fear is gone because I know who holds a future. And life is worth the living just because he lives. This time the youth choir is going to come around and sing as well.
as these kids are getting back to their seat, let's give them one more round of applause. They done a wonderful, wonderful job this morning. I thought about as they were singing, they just about covered it all, didn't they? Jesus loves me. He's alive this morning. And just let our light shine for the Lord Jesus Christ. I appreciate everyone being here this morning. Such a beautiful, beautiful congregation this morning. How we love you and so much appreciate you being here. Most of all, if you've never accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, we hope and pray this is the good hour that you might come and accept him. What a beautiful sunrise service that we had this morning. The Spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ was there. He is here now with you and I. This is a new hour that he has blessed us with as we've gathered together in God's house. And I'm going to tell you what, you and I as God's people, we have so much to rejoice and celebrate about this morning that we serve a risen Savior in the Lord Jesus Christ. So you pray for this hour. We appreciate you being here this morning. Brother Danny Orr is here with us this morning, and he's going to be coming around and sharing what the Lord has laid upon his heart. We love him and Edna so very much. So you pray for him for just a little while this morning. And before we go any, fr- before we go any further, Logan, how about lead us to the Lord in prayer? Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father God, as we begin to arise this morning, the thought of uh, it is finished, God, that you said that when you were on the cross there before you gave up the ghost. God, I began to think about being finished, God, and I certainly realized today that uh, whenever I became a, a saved little boy there, I realized that I wasn't finished. I, I was just beginning there, God, and I uh, realized as we're going about these days and times in which we live, oh, Father, I began to think about, God, uh, what a serious time in which we live, God. God, that uh, men and women who have been saved by the grace of God, Lord, uh, uh, we need to stand up for what we believe in this morning, God, because there's a lot of uh, people turning a deaf ear uh, uh, to that of the gospel. God, I begin to think about, Lord, uh, uh, God, the resurrection there, God, when you defeated death, hell, and the grave, God, you said you were going to and you did. Oh, God, I thank you for that uh, uh, this morning, how unworthy that I am. God, to be that of your child. God, you be with Brother Danny uh, this morning, God, as he tries to break that of the bread of life. God, I heard him ask, Donnie, are you sure about this? God, it's a fearful thing to fall into that of your arms, God. But when we get there, oh, God, there's no better feeling to be wrapped up in the Spirit of God. And above all else this morning, Father, God, if there's one here, oh, Lord, that doesn't know you from the free pardon of sin, God, that they would come before it's everlasting too late, that I might make a move if you impress me to do so this morning. You be with this church and Brother Donnie and Marla and their family as they come in and out of this place. God, let them be lifted up, God, in spirit and in truth. And forgive us for where we fail you, our sins and wrongdoings. <coughs> These things I ask in thy holy name. Amen. Thank you, Logan, for that good humble prayer, Brother Dave. Love you, boy. Love you, boy. Thank you, Logan, for that good humble prayer. Certainly this morning, it's good to be here at Crossroads Church. We love this church, and we love each one of you, and we thank God for what we can feel here this morning and for the Holy Spirit of God that is, I believe it's the third member of the Godhead, And I believe that's the reason that Jesus went back to be with the Father so that he said the Comforter would come, that we might feel that Holy Spirit of God and know that it was true. And I thank God for that this morning. I certainly thank him. And this morning, I love you, Pastor. I've known him all all his life, and I just thank God for him, and I just thank the Lord for the gospel that he preaches. But he don't listen good. I told him, I said, Donnie, you sure about this? And he just kept on. So this morning, you may have to holler at him sometime. But nevertheless, it's, it, it, it's an honor to stand this morning. It's an honor to be here and to feel that of the Holy Spirit, as I've said. This is a day above all days. I love Christmas. I really do. And that's when we celebrate Jesus being born. But I love Easter. Because of Easter, because he arose that third day, then I may live. And I may live eternally forever and forevermore 
And if you're here and you've been saved by that of the grace of God this morning, then you may you inherited that of a kingdom of God this morning. And I thank the Lord for that this morning. I thank him that he is with us. He's always with us. He said, I'll never leave you. He said, I'll never forsake you. He said, I'll be with you always, even to that of the end. <clears throat> but I'm going to tell you today, I thought about it, and this has been on my mind for several days. And uh, nevertheless, this morning, it's in the 20th chapter, in that of the gospel, according to St. John. And maybe we'll read maybe that of the uh, first seven verses in that uh, chapter in that chapter there and what I want you to think about this morning and uh, brethren I know he was born I ain't no doubt in my mind he was born and brethren I know he walked on this earth and there's no doubt in my mind that he walked on this earth for some 30 some odd years and uh, brethren there's no doubt in my mind that uh, brethren that he uh, hung on that of a cross that day and uh, brethren that they buried him in that of a grave there and there's no doubt in my mind that uh, brethren that uh, uh, brethren he arose out of the third day come out of the grave uh, victorious over death hell in the grave uh, uh, brethren but there's still no doubt in my mind uh, uh, that he's coming back one day uh, uh, brethren he's coming back uh, uh, to get that of his church and he's going to take it home with him and uh, to be with him forever and forevermore uh, brethren I hear people all the time saying this and that but uh, brethren Jesus is coming back uh, uh, there's no doubt out about it. 20th chapter in the gospel according to St. John uh, the Bible says the first day of the week cometh Mary Magdalene early uh, when it was yet dark unto the sepulcher and uh, seeth the stone taken away from the sepulcher but uh, then she runneth and uh, cometh to Simon Peter and to the other disciples whom Jesus loved and saith unto them they have taken away the Lord uh, out of the sepulcher and uh, we know not where they have laid him. Uh, uh, Peter there Therefore went forth and that other disciple and uh, came to the sepulcher. So uh, they ran together and uh, the other disciple did outrun Peter and uh, came first to the sepulcher. And he stooping down and looking in saw the linen clothes uh, uh, lying yet went he not in. Uh, uh, then come a Simon Peter uh, uh, following him and went into the sepulcher and uh, see the linen clothes lie and uh, the napkin uh, uh, you to think about that this morning uh, uh, and the napkin uh, uh, that was about his head uh, uh, not lying with the linen clothes uh, uh, but wrapped together uh, in a place uh, uh, by itself and uh, you think about that this morning and uh, brethren if we had a thought above another this morning uh, it very simply be he is coming back uh, uh, brethren he is coming back no doubt uh, uh, brethren that day Mary Magdalene and uh, Simon Peter and those uh, uh, were all about. They knew that uh, uh, brother Ned, uh, he had died on a cross and he'd been buried in that grave. Uh, uh, they had rolled a stone there so that uh, uh, brother Ned, he couldn't get out. Uh, uh, let me tell you today, uh, uh, nothing holds Jesus back. Uh, uh, not one thing. Uh, uh, brother, today, uh, I thought about there. Uh, uh, Mary Magdalene came and uh, several of the places says that she had spices and ointments to come and uh, brother the burial in that day is nothing like uh, uh, what we do and uh, they'd bring that ointment and uh, spices there and uh, brother Bud uh, uh, when she got there uh, uh, brother he wasn't there uh, uh, brother he told them uh, uh, brother in many places uh, uh, brother he even said uh, uh, that build this temple uh, and in three days uh, uh, brother, I'll tear it down. Uh, uh, listen, this morning, uh, I want you to know today, uh, uh, brother, that uh, uh, brother, he came up, uh, uh, brother, out of that grave uh, uh, for one reason uh, and one reason only, uh, and that was for you and me, uh, uh, brother, dad. Uh, uh, he tells us uh, in many places, uh, uh, brother, he said, uh, uh, 
uh, told his disciples, he said, I must uh, uh, go away uh, uh, so that uh, uh, the comforter might come. Uh, uh, listen today, uh, uh, through that of the Holy Spirit, uh, of that of God we know uh, uh, that he's here. Uh, uh, brethren, he's with us. Uh, and I'm so thankful. And I don't say this boastful, but I'm so thankful uh, uh, that I can feel that uh, of the Holy Spirit, uh, of that of God. Uh, uh, brethren, he tells us uh, uh, that he goes away. Uh, uh, he tells them uh, in several places. Uh, if you read on down, uh, it said they hadn't uh, uh, received that. Uh, uh, brethren, that he'd come again uh, as of yet. Uh, uh, but they will. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, this morning, uh, uh, I believe uh, in the 14th chapter, uh, he said, I go uh, uh, to prepare a place uh, uh, for that of you. Uh, he said that where I am, uh, uh, ye may be there uh, also. Uh, uh, you know what? Uh, uh, when I was 10 year old, uh, uh, there at Bethlehem Church, I saved uh, uh, by the grace of God uh, uh, on a Monday morning. Uh, I wasn't worried a whole lot uh, about getting to heaven. Uh, I was worried about uh, uh, staying out of a place called hell. Uh, uh, but you know what? Uh, uh, the older I get, uh, uh, the sweeter it gets. Uh, uh, brethren, heaven's uh, uh, just a breath away. Uh, it ain't far. Uh, uh, brethren, closer now uh, uh, than I've ever been. Uh, and brethren, the reason is uh, uh, that of Jesus Christ this morning. Uh, no other name given uh, uh, wherein man uh, uh, might be saved uh, other than that of uh, uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, he said, I go uh, and prepare a place uh, uh, for that of you uh, uh, that where I am uh, uh, you may be uh, uh, there also. Uh, uh, what about that? Uh, uh, brethren, he's coming back. Uh, I believe it with all my heart. Uh, uh, brethren, it's closer now uh, uh, than it's ever been before. Uh, and when he comes back, uh, uh, brethren, he's not coming uh, uh, like he did before. Uh, uh, meek as a lamb. Uh, he's coming as a roaring lion. Uh, uh, coming to get his church. Uh, uh, coming to get it. Uh, uh, take it home. Uh, he said, in my father's house uh, are many mansions. Uh, if it were not so, uh, he said, I would have told you. Uh, uh, brother, there, I love it. Uh, uh, don't you? Uh, uh, brother, that he is coming back. Uh, he's coming back right here uh, and get his children uh, and take them home. Uh, uh, forever and forevermore. Uh, uh, brethren, I believe uh, uh, Mary Magdalene went. Uh, uh, she is sand in her heart. Uh, uh, there, uh, her Lord and Savior, uh, uh, they've removed him. Uh, uh, they have took him away. Uh, uh, let me tell you, uh, uh, they didn't crucify him. Uh, uh, brethren, they, uh, uh, brethren, mine, uh, uh, brethren, have hung him on the cross. Uh, uh, brethren, but he came here to be uh, uh, crucified. Uh, uh, brethren, God's only uh, uh, begotten son uh, uh, for God so loved the world uh, uh, that he gave uh, uh, never forget that uh, uh, that he gave uh, his only begotten son uh, uh, that whosoever believeth in him uh, should not perish but have everlasting life uh, brethren there's something to this and I know there's a place uh, and I know it's called heaven and I know that he's there sitting at the right hand of the father making intercession for you and me today. He arose. Hallelujah, he arose. Uh, you know what? Uh, and some of you may have been. God bless you if you have. Uh, but I ain't got no reason uh, to go to the Holy Land. Uh, I ain't. And God, I, I'm sure it's beautiful. And, uh, brethren, you know why? Uh, because I got it in me. Uh, uh, brethren, the soul. Uh, uh, nothing about me righteous uh, except what Jesus Christ saved. And, uh, brethren, that's the soul. Uh, that's the soul. Uh, this morning, uh, I hear him talking about doing MRIs. Uh, uh, pet scans, uh, all of these things. Uh, uh, brethren, they ain't got a soul searching machine, have they? Uh, uh, you know why? Uh, uh, God didn't need no help with it. Uh, and brethren, he didn't need nobody messing with it. Because uh, uh, when he saves it, uh, it's sealed. Uh, it's delivered uh, until the day of redemption. Uh, and I'll tell you, he's coming back. He's coming back. Jesus Christ is coming back. I believe it. With all my heart, this morning, I want to read that one little verse again. 
right there. It says in the napkin that was about his head, not lying with the linen clothes, but wrapped together in a place by itself. Brother, that indicates in that day, I want you to understand if you read it, and you probably know it better than I do, but uh, brother, this morning there, and, uh, that day when the master of the house and uh, brother would go and sit down and eat, and he'd be called from the table, uh, brother, if he is done, uh, brother, there, if he wasn't done eating, uh, uh, brother, he'd just throw the napkin down, and they'd know not to mess with everything, uh, but whenever that he was through, uh, uh, brother, and he knew that he, they knew that he was coming back, back, uh, uh, brother, and he'd fold that napkin, uh, and brother, and he'd lay it right there, uh, and they'd know not to touch it, uh, brother, and the napkin was folded, uh, laying by itself, he's coming back, he's coming back, he's coming back, Jesus arose, and he's coming back, he's coming back for you, and he's coming for that of me, thank God. There's an empty tomb, still empty, but it's filled up inside each one of our souls. Every one of us, every one of us, we celebrate this Easter Sunday. I couldn't think of a better day for you to be saved by the grace of God. This day, we worry about everything. We want our kids to have the best they can have. We is no different. We is no different. But the best thing I ever heard the best news I ever heard, Donnie, was when Hannah got up and looked at me and says, Daddy, the Lord saved me. When Colt got up and he looked at me and he said, Daddy, the Lord saved me. Anything else they've done ain't been nothing but icing on the cake. What about it this morning? What about you? What about you? I know. I know I got a place. I know I have. Brother, I'll tell you, I don't know much. We're living in a world now where everything goes. But I'll tell you one thing my Bible says. It says you must be born again to reach the kingdom of God. You must. You won't see must many times in the Bible, but you will there. Y'all stand. Donnie, come out. I'm done. God bless you, Donnie. <coughs> in sin, no peace and joy within, if you are heavy hearted and blue, there's one who knows and cares, and burdens for us bears, tis amazing what the Savior can do, it really is wondrous, Christ will save you. In storm, he'll guide you safe through, safe through. Just listen to his voice, he'll make your soul rejoice. Tis amazing what the Savior can do. We're thankful this morning for the gospel message right. of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's a power has been delivered in this morning. I thought about when Danny was preaching, that napkin was folded, linen clothes was folded there. It might be some little evidence there that the Lord Jesus Christ, that he was alive and that he was well. This morning, church, we love each and every one of you so very much. We appreciate you so very much this morning. I thought about this morning how the Bible teaches us to rejoice, and again, I say rejoice. We have something to rejoice about this morning in a risen Savior and the Lord Jesus Christ this morning. And I want to do this this morning. I want to give way if there's anybody in the house on this Easter Sunday morning that would love to say anything, anything upon your heart this morning. 
Church, we love you this morning. I don't know if everyone has spoken to everyone this morning. Hey? No. No? no? <laughs> Y'all look across the aisle and you speak with one another. Go ahead right now. I just praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because I'm going to tell you what, I remember what it was a year ago. Bless him, Lord. To stand in the graveyard, my family was there, and nobody else but wasn't there because Bless. of this pandemic. God, yeah. I remember what it was to stand in the church and look in the pews, Benny. Aren't you glad yeah. that the Lord has brought us to where we are now? God help you. That we're able to be in the house of the Lord and share our fellowship and rejoice and celebrate on this Easter Sunday morning. We love you so very much. Anybody else, a word this morning? Anything? Kids, y'all done a wonderful, wonderful job this morning. And those that work with them, we appreciate y'all so very, very much. I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of the day. I hope that Easter Sunday is blessed for you this afternoon. And I'm going to tell you what, when Monday rolls around, please, please, don't forget what we've celebrated today. Yep. Wake up in the morning, the Lord tarries is coming, rejoicing again, because He's alive, yeah. and He's well, and He lives inside of you and I today. Anything else, announcement, in any way it needs to be made, well, we appreciate the way Mike made that announcement about the egg hunt. <laughs> Good job. We're looking forward to that. The yard sale, I believe you said that was next Saturday. Is that right? Just remember that. We pray for all of these things. It's going to take place. May God bless you is our prayer this morning. And I'm going to do this this morning. And, and, and you don't have to shake my hand if you don't feel like it. When we, we stand at the back door, but I want to make sure that I say hey or hello to everyone here this morning. That's just something a pastor that I like to do. So uh, yeah. I know the COVID's still going around and all that. We understand that. But I just want to look in your face this morning and tell you how much we appreciate you being here in the house of the Lord this morning. So nothing else. Joy, would you dismiss us? Our kind gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you, God, for this morning, for this beautiful weather that we've had this morning as we gather together this morning at sunrise service, God. We thank the Lord for that, that the, the Easter season stands for, Lord, the, the hope and the way that you gave us, God, to, the Lord, to get out of this world alive. God, we pray, Lord, that we would always, Lord, be worthy, Lord, of, of your love and your Lord, that that you've given us, God, and I pray that you, we would keep it in our hearts, and Lord, God, show it towards the lost and dying world, Lord, that they might see something in us that they would desire, God, in their own lives. Go with us, lead God, and direct us in the way you'd have us to go, God, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. amen.